Welcome to Texas Less Lethal. A lot of you are wondering, I'm sure, exactly what is less than lethal. What exactly does it mean? Who can have it? Well, typically these are going to be um, methods of dealing with violent encounters that do not involve the use of deadly force. They involve alternate methods of uh, mitigating a violent encounter. Um, primarily what we will be focusing on are launchers, not firearms, not guns, and it's, it's a, a disservice to the product if you refer to them as guns, even though I will probably make that mistake myself. Uh, they are launchers or markers. Uh, typically, the vast majority of the ones that you will see myself dealing with are going to be 68 or 50 caliber. Now, this is a 68 caliber pepper ball round. You see the seam there in the middle? And basically, that is fired at around 280 plus feet per second and it bursts there at the seam and spreads the powder within over a wide uh, area. When I say wide area, I'm talking something on the order of five feet or thereabouts. Hopefully that ends your encounter. Now we, be, we will be testing and uh, marketing a variety of platforms here. Um, Umarex products, Tipman products, uh, Berna products, uh, just to name a few. Um, these will be, for the most part, optimized for what they do. Now, there are a lot of companies that distribute, for instance, the Tipman TIPX, the TIPX. The problem is that when you buy them, they're just stock um, paintball guns, basically, that uh, they provide you with uh, pepper ball rounds to, to, to utilize instead of paintball. And this is not, it's not satisfactory and it doesn't really optimize the platform. So every item that we distribute will be uh, optimized. It will be tuned to make sure that it, uh, it is up to par for velocity and uh, it will be tested for function. I realize that you may at some point be betting your safety and the lives of yourself, family, and friends on one of these products. So I will not market or distribute anything that is not going to provide its intended purpose and live up to its uh, uh, claims. You're going to see videos here of uh, testing, testing of the rounds. Uh, we, we test kinetic rounds. We're going to test different brands of pepper balls. And um, we're going to test different, different styles of launchers our markers um, to to see what fits what purpose the best. What works good for home defense may not work good for everyday carry, etc. So on. Additionally, you may wonder who can have these different markers. So, paintball markers or launchers are not regulated in any state within the United States. There are no background checks. There are no, no anything. You can order them online. You can purchase them from your buddies. You can go to the, your local sporting goods store and pick them up. There, there, there are no regulations on them. However, however, once you load that paintball launcher with kinetic rounds or with uh, pepper ball rounds, you start to run into problems. Many states regulate the use of kinetic rounds and, uh, and or pepper ball or mace type substance dispensers. However, 
uh, that would be something that you need to review with your state laws. I can tell you New York City is a no-go. Washington, D.C. is a no-go. Um, California, anything that looks like a firearm is a no-go. So you need to research and, uh, and check your local laws about the use and possession of pepper spray, mace, etc., so forth. Now, if you're a prohibited person, a convicted felon, it doesn't matter. You can still possess these. Uh, you have as much right to protect and defend yourself and your family as anybody else does. And uh, these are, are not regulated and they're fine for you to possess. However, let me make this distinction. However, you could possibly, if you're on probation or parole, uh, you could run afoul with uh, the agency that, that oversees you. So you would need to verify that, you know, possessing mace, the, pep, the, the paint, paintball launcher is fine. The, the problem is the, the pepper balls or the kinetic rounds, you know, are mace, and there may be something in your documents that prohibit you from having these substances. Verify, verify, verify. However, if you are not on probation or parole, you're, you should be fine. Um, who would be attracted to something that is less, less than lethal? Well, a lot of people. There are people who are not comfortable with firearms. They want some alternative. Um, there are people that, that are objectionable to possibly taking a life. Uh, the, the list is endless. Whatever your motivation is, you know, that's your personal thing. All right. My job is to bring you the most effective platform, the most effective product to ensure that if you have to use this, it will work and it will provide the desired effects. Now, you're not going to want to bring a launcher or marker to a gunfight. You're not going to want to have to use these if you can avoid it. So one of the things that we will go over is how to de-escalate situations and remove yourself from them so that you don't have to resort to the use of force. Um, we will also, because these launchers can be fatal, don't, don't think that these are toys. These are not toys, okay? Um, many of the launchers that I have launch kinetic rounds at between 350 and 450 feet per second. They are capable, some of them are capable of more than that. So these are not, these are not toys. They can be fatal. They can cause um, serious bodily injury. So that's something to keep in mind and that's something in a future video that we'll go over. But I just wanted to do a quick video and welcome you guys to the channel. And um, I hope that you find the information that we impart here helpful and uh, if you're interested in any of our products at this point we don't have the website up and running yet but it will be coming shortly but you can email me at texaslesslethal at gmail.com with uh, questions or um, uh, information on different products thank you y'all live safe and i will see you again soon